Hi YouTube, thanks for watching my channel. Today we're going to be talking about diaper pill liners. It can be hard if you're a new mother, or especially if you're new to cloth diapering, to know exactly what accessories to buy to get the most bang for your buck. So, I decided to review three different brands of liners and hopefully help you make a better, more informed decision when you go to purchase. For those of you wondering what exactly is a diaper pill liner, well, all they are is like a giant wet bag. They're waterproof and they hold your dirty diapers until laundry day. They come in different styles, closures, patterns, and colors. This one has an elastic top, some have a drawstring closure, and some I've even seen hang on the wall and they zip up. You can buy different diaper pills with different styles and price ranges or just get a 13 gallon trash bin like we did. Yay! Let's get to the review. When I first decided to cloth diaper, I went ahead and purchased two different brands of Pell liners. That way I could rotate between the two on laundry day. So I purchased one well-known established brand and one lesser known and less expensive brand. I wanted to see if there'd be a difference between the two. The first Pell liner I want to review is this one from Some Few. It's a lesser known brand and this one was the least expensive out of all three. This one only cost me $12.95 and it does come in four different colors. I really liked this one at first when I first started using it and one of the reasons why is whenever I would take it out of the washing machine it didn't retain tons of water and I could hang it upside down and water wouldn't drip off from it. So I really like that. My uh, other Pell liner, it retains a lot of water and water drips whenever I take it out of the washing machine to dry so I have to put a towel underneath it. But this one doesn't do that. However, you can definitely tell difference in the quality. So what I mean by that is when I am picking up the Pell liner when it's full of diapers, I can feel the moisture coming through the bag. And I don't particularly like that because a wet bag's main job is to hold in moisture. It's supposed to be waterproof and this isn't 100% waterproof. Now I'm not saying water's dripping, but I can definitely feel the moisture. So as far as that goes, I probably wouldn't order this again. Good. Let's move on to Planet Wise wet bag. Now this is one that is a very well known brand, has really good ratings, but it is the most expensive out of the wet bags. It's $18.95, so it's practically $19. And the cool thing about Planet Wise is they give you a multiple of colors and patterns to choose from. There's actually over 35 on their website. This Pell liner does an excellent job at retaining the moisture from the soiled diapers. I feel absolutely no moisture or wetness on the outside of the bag on laundry day. However, the biggest issue I have with this liner is that it retains a lot of water when I take it out of the washing machine. I never put my liners or wet bags in the dryer because it can damage the PUL lining over time. So I have to hang dry all of them. So whenever I take this out of the washing machine, I have to try to blot all of the water that I can, and then I have to lay it in the floor to catch the drips. If I don't, I'll come back to a giant puddle of water. So I, I would say that that is a con of the Planet Wise Pell liner, because I don't have to do that with my Sun Few Pell liner. So this brings me to the last review, the Grovia Pell Liner. This is a very nice Pell Liner, and out of all three, this one is actually my favorite. This one is a drawstring, as you can see. So if you wanted to lock in the smells or, or whatever, you could completely close it. And I actually purchased this one for traveling. We stay at my parents' house. They live kind of out of the way. And so I'll take this, and I'll dump all of my dirty diapers because it holds a lot of them. The cost of the Grovia Pell Liner is $15.25, and unfortunately, they only come in this color, which is the tan, and I did see a special edition print for $16, so I do wish they had more color options, so I would say that that's my only picky thing about it. The other thing is they only come in the drawstring closure. They don't have the elastic closure, but out of the three, like I said, it is my favorite because it locks in the moisture just like the Plant Wise does. I don't feel any wetness or moisture. And the awesome thing is, is when I hang it upside down, it doesn't do the dripping or the, you know, I don't have a big puddle of water when I come back. So not only does it lock in the moisture, but it also doesn't retain the water when I'm washing it. So this one definitely by far is my favorite. I just wish they had more colors. So that pretty much wraps it up. If you'd like any more tips and tricks, please subscribe, and you can also check out more information on clothdiapereasy.com. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.
Hi YouTube, thanks for watching my channel. Today we're going to be talking about diaper pill liners. It can be hard if you're a new mother, or especially if you're new to cloth diapering, to know exactly what accessories to buy to get the most bang for your buck. So, I decided to review three different brands of liners and hopefully help you make a better, more informed decision when you go to purchase. For those of you wondering what exactly is a diaper pill liner, well, all they are is like a giant wet bag. They're waterproof and they hold your dirty diapers until laundry.